Hi everyone, my name is Mai and today we're going to learn about simple present tense. So this is a tense that we need to know during our English journey. So let's get started to simple present tense. Simple present tense is used for things that are true in general. For example, the earth orbits the sun. So this is like a knowledge which, is, which are true and we cannot change it. The earth orbits the sun. And for habits or for things, happen sometimes or all the time. Never, sometimes, usually, frequently, often, and always are the words that we use for pre simple present tense. And here's an, an example. We have, I always study in the morning. As you can see, I have used the word always. Positive sentence. So here are some of the things that I need to, you need to know. Subject plus does or do, it depends on the subject, and then plus object. Here is an example. They work for a company. They is the subject. Work is uh, for like does or do. And for a company is the object. Like something that uh, make the sentence more complete and more interesting. The negative sentence is subject plus doesn't or don't plus object. They is the subject. Don't is for doesn't or don't. They a work for the company is the object. So questions do does plus subject plus object. For example, does she like ice cream? Does is the does in the do or does, and then subject is she. Object is like ice cream, and so here we have it. He, she. It goes with does or doesn't. And we, you, they go with do or don't. So the pre simple present tense is also used for sensing, feeling, thinking, and speaking. For example, the blue cheese smells horrible. That's the sensing. I don't like skateboarding. Feeling it makes her think about him. Thinking. He loves taking picture, speaking. So it used for many, like many things that we use every day. Long lasting situations. So this is something that will last long, and it is not in just a while, but it lasts for very long. She lives with her friend. He works in an office. It lives in a fancy house. I go to the park to exercise every day. They go to class to study. So present simple present tense is also used for telling stories or jokes, like stories that you may tell to others or jokes. Also for newspaper headlines, like Prime Minister resigns. Scientists discover a new element. Coronavirus spread to America. Man walks on the moon. It's also for commentary. It is, commentary is describing something as it's happening. So like you are watching TV and you are describing it to someone else. Future schedules. Like the plane arrives at 9 p.m. The competition starts at 8 a.m. What time does the class start? Here is the schedules that is in the future that you are going to take or others. So as you have may notice that in my example, there are after each verb, I have S or ES to he, she or it. Like, for example, she works at her garden every day. He often goes to work at 9 a.m. It always barks and makes us frustrated. So, rules to add S and ES. Add ES. So, if you want to add the ES, each, like, if you want to add ES, the verb have to end uh, O 
S X Z C H S H and Y. But Y is very special because at Y is just after a con consonant. So, for example, fly. Before the word fly, like the before the now at Y is L. So you have to like change it into flies. So there are some example about the others letters. So so at S is ending of all the rest of the alphabet, but Y is after a vowel, like um boy. O is a vowel. So after O is Y, and after and that is the rules for adding S. So here are the vowel and consonant Vietnamese translation if you want to know. So that is all about the simple present tense. Thanks for watching. Bye.